One of the main themes of Hu Jintao's work report presented at the 18th National Congress, or Shubada, as it's called here, was developing a strong socialist culture. To find out how this could happen, we went along to a press conference with the cumbersome name of the Cultural System Reform and Construction of Public Cultural Service System. Here's what we learned. The conference opened with short presentations by the four speakers, representing the State Administration for Radio, Film and Television, also known as SAFT, the Ministry of Culture, General Administration of Press and Publication, and the CPC Central Committee's Department of Publicity. According to Sun Jijun of the Central Committee's Publicity Department, the party would rely on the people for cultural development and let the people enjoy the fruits of cultural development. A foreign journalist posed the question of how China would aim to spread its culture abroad. Sun replied that by introducing Chinese culture abroad, Sun added that in order to promote Chinese culture, along with government-to-government -government cultural exchanges, Confucius Institutes would provide a platform for learning the Chinese language abroad, while media organizations in China would also present the world a true image of a China that is seeking harmonious development and making a positive contribution to the world. Tian Jin of SAFT stressed radio, film and television would retain the biggest role in spreading culture across countries. At home though, China seemingly has its work cut out. Ms. Zhao Xiaohua said that currently China suffers a cultural deficit in which the country introduces less cultural products than it imports. Related to this, another journalist queried the memorandum of understanding that allowed more American films into the Chinese market. Sun admitted that this had impacted on the domestic market and led to more fierce competition. He noted that the industry in China needs to boost its creativity and impetus. In another area though, the party was pleased with its progress. Jiang Jiangguo from the General Administration of Press and Publication explained that book houses or reading rooms have been established in all countryside villages with good conditions. Though these may have only 1,500 to 3,000 titles at most, they aim to make a big impact on schools and communities. So, China clearly has grand visions of introducing its culture across the world. This will be no easy task, especially given the implicit competition from the cultural might of the US. At home, China needs to boost its creativity and innovation. The Bookhouse Initiative sounded quite progressive, however. Though we may question what kind of content will be provided, this may well make a big difference to people in less advantaged areas. For GB Times in Beijing, I'm Andrew Jones.